Igloo Studios. Here we go. From the mind of Mark Yoshimoto Nemkov. Oh, all right. Ah, I'm not going to put on headphones. I am totally cooked. I just got back about 20 minutes ago from recording my parts uh, for the pilot. And I have to tell you, I am just, I am overwhelmed with how amazing this experience has been. My voice is like totally trashed and thrashed and it was, it was incredible. It was like, it was a dream come true. Um, we recorded at Igloo Sound in Burbank, um, which is like a, I mean, I'm going to pull up some shots of, this is Igloo Sound in Burbank. This is from their website. I mean, it is the booths of palatial. So we were we were at the facility. There are like three different voiceover studios. And the control rooms are like just amazing looking. And the booths are, are I just, I don't even know how to describe this. I mean, it was really some high end stuff. And just looking at the posters on the walls and what this place has won awards for, like the, the stuff that, and, and I, you know, somebody, there was another session going on for like the adventures of Lois and Superman or something like that. And I, I mean, it was, it was, <laughs> it was crazy. I woke up this morning and my voice wasn't a hundred percent. And I was like, oh my God, the worst possible day for my voice to not be like right in the pocket. So I spent like two hours like steaming and like, you know, humming and, and getting it in shape. And the entire car ride, they um they had offered to send a car to pick me up. But I was like, you know what? I'm going to drive myself because I have to warm up my voice. I'm not going to do that in the back of like an Uber or something. So I get there. Uh, you know, it's very cash, not not a rush talking with the showrunners, meeting my uh, other cast members, uh, the other two actors, uh, the what we did, of course, for the pilot is really a, more of a, a small section of the script, it's like really like a proof of concept. And so we did like the first 12 pages of the script. And so I had um, two, three scenes my character's in and uh, two scenes, three scenes. Uh, and so I'm in uh, with two other actors and I show up and I had not met the other cast members the other actors and these these are real real deal real actors so and i find out actually while we're doing the session because we one of the one of the parts we had done um all three of us in the booth together reading our lines like you know uh performing them and um so i'm there i'm in between these two and they're talking and then we wrap uh the um Lindsay, she wraps and um so as she leaves, right, uh, her and uh, Tom, the, the other actor, um, they're like, you know, they'd known each other. I didn't realize this yeah, because I just met them. They kn knew each other. And I was like, uh, I was like, wow, how do you know each other? They're like, oh, we were on a Fox network show for, for like four seasons together. <laughs> and I was like, oh, my God. I mean, these are real actors, real, real actors. I'm not a real actor, you know. But luckily, my character does a funny voice, so it's easy to act, get the right emotion when you're an alien cop. So my my character, uh, I play uh, uh, the main character's partner, and I'm an alien. The whole thing is like, um, it's like The Wire meets Guardians of the Galaxy. So it's amazing. The session was just, was awesome. It was, it went great. I killed uh, they asked me to do, after I was done, they asked me to do a couple other, like, character, uh, some minor characters who show up. Like, just basically, they're, like, uh, a couple of characters, three cops who show up on page one and some other guy. And just, just had to I, create some other voices on the fly for them. And and uh, it was it was everything. It was everything I'd hoped it would be. Except I wanted my voice to be a little bit better, more in the pocket. But I made it work. Um, and they loved it. And it was, I am, uh, I'm still processing everything. It's, it's really uh, just something. So uh, I just wanted to report back. The, uh, the process was incredible. I worked harder on this than anything 
I've ever done in my life getting this character down. And it paid off. It really did. All the time I put into it really paid off. Because when I got when it got time, you know, the thing is, you get in there and the pressure of a live session, there's nothing like that. It's one thing to do it on Zoom when you're in your own space and, you know, you have the faces of the other people there and everybody's, you know, all the other people who are sitting there on the Zoom call, everybody there is, is being paid by someone else. It's on someone else's dime. I mean, you know, the clock is ticking. But when you're in a facility like this, like a really nice, high-end voiceover facility in L.A., and I mean, you know, you're talking about the clock is running. I mean, somebody's paying for all this. And it was just so beautiful and so smooth and really chill and and just getting the best performances. And my co-stars were incredible. Just watching them work. The guy who plays my partner is so good. What he was able to do with his character was insane. I mean, he's so good. And, 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 and the, uh, both of them. So I was in awe. I was like watching an acting clinic and here I am. I'm like, I'm just going to do my lines. And, you know, I had, I had worked on my lines so, so much. Like I really knew the emotional content of each line, the line delivery. And I'd worked on it so hard that even in, in a state where I was like a little bit feel, feeling the pressure you know, being in the fishbowl of, of the studio, but the crucible of that, like, like that's where everything is formed in the pressure of the crucible of, 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 of just having to perform under those conditions when the clock is running and, and it's amazing. So anyway, um, I just wanted to report back. I just got back. Uh, otherwise I don't have a show for Wednesday. So, um, yeah, nation, this was, one of the the greatest moments of my life, <laughs> without a doubt. This is a top 10 moment in my life for me. So I really, I just wanted to share this. Um, so anyway, uh, let me know what you think. Leave a comment. All right, until next time, this is Mark Yoshimoto and Emkoff, Fading to Black. <laughs>